Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to probably one of the most famous Chinese food stir-fried noodles and you can literally cook it with anything. A lot of ingredients are optional and in fact what you put in can really depends on what's left in the fridge on the day. At least that's how I do it. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you can choose to leave the meat out. And what I just did there was to put water on the hole and let the noodles cook while you're preparing other things. It really doesn't matter what type of noodles you put in, but what does matter is to remember to give them a jiggle after you put them in the water, because you don't want them to go lumpy. Now we get everything prepared, we just need to get the wok heated up in some oil. Onions and chilies go in first. It's a good idea to let them fry for 30 seconds and then after you can smell them, put the second ingredient in. In our case, bean sprouts. And then some Shanghai baby bak choy. Make sure everything is heated up evenly before you put the noodles in. And we decided to go light on the sauce. This is actually Japanese white dashi sauce, which is not quite authentic in some ways, but since this is really just a fusion sort of stir-fry version with a bit of Cantonese influence and Northern Chinese, we can decide what we want. But one sauce that can't be escaped is this one. The last step is to put the meat in. We prepared the char siu one day before, so we just have to reheat them. Apparently prawns are something that can easily get overcooked, so you don't want to put them in until the very last minute. Actually, the most authentic way of cooking stir-fry noodles is very different. You put them on very high heat, and the whole process only took one minute or two. So at this stage, what you really want to do is to get them heat up as quickly as possible before the noodles go soggy. And here we go! Stir-fried noodles fusion! I hope you enjoyed it!